Jesus in the Gospel of Mark, the blood of the covenant. Mark 14, verse 22 to 24. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take it, for this is my body. And he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. He gave it to them, and they all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice for many. At this point in the narrative, it appears that Judas Iscariot had gone and Jesus was alone with the faithful 11 disciples. Then it was that he transformed the Passover of the Old Covenant into the Lord's Supper of the New Covenant, creating a new memorial feast to remember God's deliverance from sin. In the Bible, spiritual life is represented by bread. As it says in John 6, 22 to 71, and water, but blood is the deepest metaphor God uses. As the physical life of an animal is in its blood, God uses the sacrifice of blood to restore his spiritual life. During the last of God's ten plagues against Egypt, the Israelites covered their doorposts and lintels with the blood of the Passover lamb. God passed over the homes marked with blood and left them unscathed while the firstborn of the houses of the Egyptians died in Exodus 12, 1-32. Now Jesus uses wine as a visual representation of the blood he will spill. God will accept Jesus' sacrifice and apply it to the sins of death that lives in us. The impact of spiritual death will pass over those of us who accept Jesus' blood, His sacrifice on our behalf. No more blood needs to be shed for forgiveness from God, as it says in Hebrews 7, verse 27. By drinking the wine, or nowadays the grape juice, this symbolizes that Jesus' healing power goes inside of us. We are not whitewashed tombs that only appear to be clean, but we are renewed from the inside out and was given new hearts, as it says in the book of Ezekiel 11 verse 19. This is the new covenant. The blood sacrifices performed on the altar of the temple cover the sins of the people, but only God can turn hearts. Here, Christ's blood needed to be shed for the remission of sins, as it says in Hebrews 9.22, and it was given for the benefit of many. The many are all who believe, both Jew and Gentiles. His blood became a ransom or a price for us to be redeemed and to satisfy God's justice and wrath against sin. This then, the meaning of the cross, Christ subjected himself to the suffering, the impact of divine wrath in the place of sinners, in which it represented with a cup that everyone needs to drink on to commemorate his blood, which was poured out for many to be saved from eternal damnation. Thank you and God bless you all.